Thank you all for being here today. Uh, certainly, this is a, 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 gro a great moment for us. Um, we're always excited when this time of year come around when we can do the MJ boot drive. Truly, this is something that is near and dear to all of the firefighters here, and we just appreciate the MJ just uh, letting us be a part of them and partnering with us as we go through this boot drive. Uh, we'll be doing this boot drive on this week. It'll be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You have firefighters on the corners throughout both the city and the county with their boots collecting money. And as you can see, we have a boot in front of us. So I've already started my collection. Um, and But tonight, we actually gonna keep this off at City Hall tonight uh, when we do a proclamation for this month uh, for the boot drive. So you're gonna see, like I said, you're gonna see firefighters on, on, on several corners uh, collecting money. We're very proud this year because we are about uh, $25,000, $30,000 away from the $3 million mark. So we certainly expect to uh, collect $3 million on tomorrow, get to that mark tomorrow at $3 million. Uh, this is, we intimately got involved this in the in the 90s, but we've been doing this for over 50 years, uh, helping out with the MDA. So we're just proud of our firefighters. And we're just asking the public, when you see the firefighters out on the street, drop some money in the boot. Even if just empty out your ashtray, we like the stuff that you can't hear when you drop it in the boot, but we'll take the stuff that you can hear. So if you got money in the ashtray, you, you can drop that in. But certainly we want to have a, a good drive this year. We're looking for nothing but the best. We're looking for a top year this year. And the other thing is, you know, while our firefighters are out there on the street collecting this money, we cannot do this without the public. So it's a partnership between the MJ, our firefighters, and the public out there. And we also want to thank both council, city, and county council for giving us the ability and allowing us to get out on the streets to collect this money. And I am so glad to be joined here today with Mr. Uh, by Mr. Robert Watts from the MDA, and we're going to present him at this time. Thank you, Chief. We, we live in a very philanthropic community here in Columbia, and the Columbia Fire Department is a prime example of that. This is the 65th anniversary of the Fill the Boot campaign, and this department ranks number one in the Southeast and number 13 in the nation for the size of this campaign. As the Chief stated, with the public's health help, this is a significant effort to serve the 7,400 patients of our state who are living with muscular dystrophy. The funds raised from this campaign are going to send 140 children from the Midlands to summer camp. These are children who wouldn't be able to attend MDA summer camp if it wasn't for the efforts of the Columbia Fire Department. So we're very grateful for the support. The funds that are committed from this program also support research. The Muscular Dystrophy Association is the leading provider of neuromuscular research in America. And this is a significant effort that we are all joining together as friends in this community to make the impact. So Chief, thank you very much for your leadership and everything that you and your team do for us. And we're grateful for your efforts. Thank you. Again, uh, we'll be out on the streets this week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, from morning until evening. So stop by and uh, help us find the cure for this dreaded disease. Um, certainly the, the firefighters and the command staff that's behind me, uh, they'll be out there uh, with their boots. Um, certainly I'll be out there as well. Um, so just look for the chief out there and, and um, I'm taking big bills, okay? <laughs> but uh, anyway, you know, anything, anything, anything helps out. And we just ask for everybody to join in and help us with this cause. And we'll take any question that you all may have. Chief, it's always fun leading up to the campaign, but what's it like when you're able to turn that money over and see some of these kids get to go to camp? You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm let somebody else answer that question because they, you know, they didn't have a talking part, but I'm letting them answer that question because they normally go to these camps. And uh, where's Captain? Come on up here. Hey, afternoon. Thanks, Chief. Uh, my name is Captain Kemper. I'm the captain of Engine 13. And uh, I can tell you that the impact of uh, seeing a kid 
uh, be able to participate in the summer program who sometimes at school isn't able to walk and uh, isn't able to uh, do the things that other kids uh, are able to do every day. When they go to camp with kids with uh, muscular dystrophy uh, as, as their campmates, uh, they're not singled out and they can do all the things uh, that other people uh, take for granted every day. They can go us for a swim in the uh, zero entry pool they can go on a ropes course uh, and swing through the air just like a, a normal kid, and it's, uh, it's an amazing thing. So uh, this is an extraordinary event and an extraordinary uh, thing that, that Columbia does, and we can't thank them enough for doing it. Captain, could you give us your first name, please, sir? Sure, Victor Kemper. K-E-M-P-E-R. -E -E How do you know about the camp? Do you all go visit? Is that No, please. Um, the camp is, uh, uh, say your question again one more time. So have, can, you, have you had personal experience at the camp? Is this something you've been able to see for yourself? Is that, do your, do your uh, fellow firefighters go in the summer? How's that work? Yeah, uh, there is a day, a firefighter day. We often try to go and maybe participate in a special activity or something like that. Uh, it's open to any of the firemen who collect, of course, throughout the campaigns. And uh, I've gone on multiple occasions. Uh, just to see what camp is like, and it's an amazing thing. I hate to say, do they return the favor when you're there, but is this something the kids are aware that these fundraising fundraisers are going on and they get the chance to thank you while you're on the site? Absolutely. The kids are, are super thankful. They love camp, and they love that we uh, help them, uh, give them the opportunity to get there. Drop the hook, Gary. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Did you say what you raised last year, Chief? Did you have a number? $145,000. Yeah, last year we raised $145,000. Um, and this year we're, we want to top that. I going to say, what's it mean when you hear the NBA telling you guys that you're number one in the Southeast? Well, it means a whole lot because I would tell you these the men and women in this department put a lot of effort in, into what they do. And they are intimately involved in when they're out there uh, collecting. And I tell you one of the things that I'm, I'm excited about is the fact that we got the NCAA tournament going on. And I'm hoping that brings more traffic, which means bringing more dollars. So I'm very, I'm very excited about that. But you do know everybody from Duke is coming from New Jersey, so they'll have more money, right? Absolutely. And we want to get some of that New Jersey money. <laughs> Thank you all. All right.